really appreciate the fact that you were able to stand up. I think I was for a hospital, so I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. Good luck. How to study the Word of God. When we study God's Holy Word, the book of Isaiah chapter 28, verses 9 through 16, tell us, when we read, it is here a little and there a little, here a little and there a little, line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept, precept upon precept. The Word of God is not a novel. So we are to study it this way. When we study the creation, you can't leave Genesis chapter 1 and verse number 1 to find out what happens in verse number 2. One must read Isaiah 24 and 1. Behold, he maketh the earth empty and turneth it upside down. Before you go to the second verse of the Bible, you need to read Jeremiah 4, 23 through 26. What happened between the first two verses of the Bible? You need to read Isaiah 45 and 18. He created it not in vain. There were no voids. There was no darkness. 1 John 1 and 7, 5 rather. This is the message. This then is the message that we have heard of him. In him is light and there is no darkness at all. But we need to read here a little and there a little to find out where the darkness came from. Then back here in the epistles of First and Second Peter, we find out that the earth that then was being overflowed with water perished. The Genesis 1 and 1 world. So how do we study the Word of God? Number one, you need a regimented reading program daily of the Word of God. Joshua 1 and 8, This book of the law shall not depart out of thy mouth, but thou shalt meditate in it day and night, that thou mayest observe to do all according that is written therein. Then shall thy way be prosperous, and thou shalt have good success. Psalm 1 and 1, 1 and 2, Your delight should be in the law of God, the word of God. And in his law you should meditate day and night. Now, we're studying the Word of God. If you read three chapters a day, you'll read the Bible through once annually. If you read six chapters a day, you'll read the Bible through twice annually. Do like some of us. Take 13 chapters a day and read the Bible four times annually, every 90 days. 1,189 chapters in your Bible. 31,102 verses and 66 books. You can read the entirety of the New Testament in an eight-hour period. That is for quantity, volume reading. That's one way to study the Word of God. Now, a second way is through subjects. For example, we have many sermon Bible study curriculums that we have written. In these Bible study curriculums, you will find doctrinal teachings. So let's study the Word of God Doctrinally, we want to know about the mighty God in Jesus Christ. Who is God? What is his name? Is he many who's and one what? Or is he innumerable what's and one who? Now, doctrine, the mighty God in Jesus Christ. So from Genesis to Revelation... The Bible teaches that God is one. You can't, read, you can't leave the first chapter of the book of Genesis without finding out that Elohim is God Almighty, a plurality of God's attributes. But God, singular, is one. Deuteronomy 6 and 4, Shema Yisrael Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad, God is one. From Genesis to Revelation, God is one. So let's study the Word of God doctrinally by subjects. When we, you can never exhaust the subject of who God is. Now we'll go to water baptism by submersion in the name of Jesus Christ. Study from Genesis to Revelation. 
You can't leave the first three verses of the Bible without finding out that God requires baptism for a new creation. The Spirit of God, Holy Ghost, moved on the face of the waters. Baptism. And God baptized and submerged the entire earth. Let's study the Word of God by subject, doctrinally. Let's talk about speaking in tongues as the Spirit of God gives the utterance. Is in every book of the Bible. It's from Genesis 11. It's in the book of Exodus, Leviticus, Numbers, Deuteronomy, Joshua, Judges, Ruth. Throughout the Word of God, we have the evidence of the Holy Ghost is speaking in a language unknown to you, known to someone, but no need of an interpreter unless it is the gift of tongues. Now, this is how you study the Word of God by subject. And then after you study these subjects, which are all inexhaustible, holiness, the tenets of our faith, separation from the world, the Godhead, water baptism, uh, faith, what are the seven principles of the doctrine of Christ? Resurrection from the dead, eternal judgment, laying on of hands, baptisms of spirit and water. All of these are subjects that you can study. We have done most of the legwork for you in our Bible study curriculum that can be found at ltcbr.com. And then after that, you have inspirational and faith subjects. You have development subjects. You have four years worth of Bible studies here. Church government. Sevens in the Bible. Seven mysteries and seven churches. Seven stages of judgment. Seven stages of the first resurrection. Seven principles of the doctrine of Christ. Seven names of Jehovah in the 23rd Psalm. Uh, seven rests in Scripture, seven churches of Asia Minor. This is how you study the Word of God. You need a regimented study plan. When you do this, you will come to a knowledge of the truth. Some people are always learning, but never able to come to a knowledge of the truth. Second Timothy, the third chapter, tells us because they have a form of godliness. But when you have a careful study of the Word of God, baptized with the Holy Ghost and fire, it is inevitable you will come to the truth. The truth will enlighten and reveal and illuminate itself to you. You cannot know God apart from revelation. If you want to know Him, read His book. You're going to get to know Him in here. You're not going to find Jesus here because he's not lost. He's going to find you. Anything in your life that needs found is going to be exposed here. Jesus said you're the salt of the earth and the light of the world. When you read the word of God under the illumination of the light of Jesus Christ, the Old Testament tabernacle, you can't see the table of showbread and the altar of incense. That means the word of God, showbread, incense, worship. You can't see that without the golden lampstand lighting, lighting your way. Okay, so this is how you study the word of God. Number one, I want you to read volumes of the word of God. And get a quantity of Bible reading. And don't worry about ingesting it as much as you need a quantity. All right, so you need a quantity, and then you go back and study for a quality by subjects. In doing so, you're going to come to a greater knowledge of who Jesus is and know your place in the world and in the church. Pastor Tony Spell here. God bless you all in Jesus' name. We are an affiliate here at Life Tabernacle and Pastor Tony Spell of the Pete Santilli Show. One of his many products is Pistol Pete Jerky. Pistol Pete Jerky is some of the best beef jerky that you will find. And when you go to PistolPeteJerky.com and purchase this product, 50% of the proceeds will come to our ministry. Click on the promo code JESUS when you go to PistolPeteJerky.com 
Not only will you help support a great show who is fighting for the freedom of all of us, but you will also get this great product along with two pocket-sized United States constitutions. So go to PistolPeteJerky.com, click on the promo code JESUS, and they will also support our ministry while you're getting a great product. So remember to do that, and God bless you all today in Jesus' name.